Nag-start na ba ang klase ninyo or still waiting pa din kayo ng pasukan? Alin man sa dalawa, ang video na ito ay focus sa mga must-have mobile apps na magagamit mo ngayon as a student. Hello class! This is Teacher Elena. Welcome to my E-Class and Bites, a channel dedicated to educate, to explore, and to empower through tips and how-tos for the new normal. I always believe to make every choice better and I want to say thank you for making a better choice by watching this video. Kung di pa kayo subscribed, please click the subscribe button and bell para notified kayo sa mga new videos ko every week. Like what I've said, this video will focus sa mga apps na makakatulong sa inyo as a student na need nyo i-download sa inyo mga mobile phones. These apps are my personal choice na sa tingin ko magagamit ninyo ngayon bilang student. So the first two apps are Facebook and Messenger. For sure, these apps are already downloaded sa inyong mga phones. Sa Facebook, we can read posts or join the Facebook groups na pwedeng i-create ni teacher na for communication for our classes. Sa Messenger naman, easier and cheaper way to communicate with our classmates and of course with our teachers as well. Sa Philippines, ang kagandahan, using free data, makakabasa tayo ng mga posts sa Facebook at makakapag-send and receive tayo ng mga messages sa Messenger. Next two apps are Google Classroom and Google Drive. So, yung Google Classroom is an easy-to-use learning app for collaboration between teachers and students. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung mga videos ko about Google Classroom, meron ako ilalagay na mga links sa description below. And then, yung Google Drive naman is a cloud storage for saving and sharing your files. Meron din ako mga ginawang video about Google Drive. Ilalagay ko lang din yung link sa description below para for easier reference. These two apps are very useful dahil sa ngayon, yung Google Classroom, yan yung madaling gamitin ngayon ng mga teachers to connect with their students kung saan nilalagay nila yung kanilang mga learning materials. And connected siya sa Google Drive dahil automatic doon na si save lahat ng mga files na ina-upload sa Google Classroom. Okay, the next apps are Google Docs, Sheets, and Google Slides. Ito naman ay mga productivity apps at compatible ito kapag ginagamit natin yung Google Classroom. It is an alternative to MS Office. Familiar kayo sa Microsoft Office like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So, ito yung Google version ng mga apps na iyon. So, maganda rin matuto tayong gumamit ng mga to dahil nga mas compatible siya kung gagamit tayo ng Google Classroom. Alam na natin yung mga naunang mga apps at kung natututunan nyo na dapat gamitin ito and you find value on this video, please don't forget to subscribe or to like and share this video with others. Continue. Another app na magamit natin ay ang Google Calendar and Google Keep. Ang dalawang apps na to magandang gamitin dahil matutulungan tayo nito na maging organized and makikip track natin yung mga ginagawa natin sa ating school. Google Calendar, pwede nyo i-plot doon ang inyong mga class schedules or kung meron kayong mga deadlines na classwork na dapat isubmit, ma-itatrack nyo doon or ma-ire-record nyo doon. Then sa Keep naman, so para siyang organizer, electronic organizer, ganda rin gamitin ito para makapag-take down ng notes, kung meron kayong mga to-dos or mga checklist na kailangan gawin. Google Keep is the app to do that. The last two apps are Dictionary and Meditation apps. 
So, nilagay ko lang dyan na example is the Merriam-Webster. Pero marami pa tayong dictionary apps na pwedeng i-download. Ang dictionary, syempre alam naman natin, will help us to understand unfamiliar words. Personally, ako, hindi ko naman talaga alam lahat ng mga English words. Time to time, I consult a dictionary para naman ma-enhance yung aking vocabulary. And then, meditation apps. Meditation naman, ang example natin dito is yung headspace. Pwede naman natin may iwasan, paminsan-minsan, makakaramdam tayo ng stress. At ito, meditation app na to, matutulungan tayo para kahit pa pan, eh, maikalma natin yung ating mga pag-iisip para makapag-focus ulit tayo sa mga dapat nating gawin. So, those are the apps na top picks para sa akin that can help you right now while studying. There are many more apps na pwede nyo magamit as a student. Some are free, some are with payment. The key is to explore these apps at kung ano ang mas feel ninyong gamitin. Don't leave this channel dahil may iba pang mga videos dito na makakatulong sa inyo sa inyong new normal situation as a student. Always remember to make every choice better. Thank you so much for watching.